Hello everybody, this is Rohini Chayanthi and today I am going to tell you all an amazing story from the world of tales and the reference has been taken from the speaking tree and this is a world storytelling day right today so it is very special and the story which I want to tell you today is of that a lizard and a turtle lizard sp it's very fast and the turtle thud and thud and thud and thud lizard and turtle were friends 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 one was very fast and other was slow lizard and turtle were friends 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 one was very fast and other were slow and thus the lizard and the turtle were very good friends. Though one was very fast, the other one was very slow. They always used to spend time together. They used to walk together, sing together, dance together, eat together and sleep of course together. But the lizard was slightly foolish. He always used to take decisions in haste. He just wanted the things to be completed. Tuck, 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 tuck. And whatever he found interesting, he used to just run after that before even thinking whether that was harmful or something dangerous at times. And the turtle, his wise friend, always used to protect the lizard from the dangers every time. Though the lizard never listened to the turtle, the turtle always used to warn the lizard. And that is how the relationship used to be. One day, it so happened that they were traveling to a farm site. It was Gotka Tapa village. And the village was filled with greenery, trees all around, and of course, small bushes and fields and farms around. It was full of green lush around. They were very happy. It was cool. The cool breeze was blowing and they still started walking. Tuck, 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 tuck. They went on walking, walking. They went on walking, walking. Hopping sometimes, jumping sometimes, walking, walking, walking. And as they were walking, suddenly they could feel the aroma the smell of fresh ginger from somewhere. And they looked all around. Can you see something? I could smell the fresh ginger, said the lizard. Of course, me too, said the turtle. Then there must be fresh ginger around. Why don't we have a go and have a look, said the lizard. Yes, we will. But be quiet and composed, said the turtle as usual. And they all, they both of them went all the way looking around, looking around, looking around. And finally found a farm with fresh gingers. Ha 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 ha, this is the place we are. I want to eat it right now, I want to eat it right now, said the lizard. No, 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 no. Can't you see the person there, the farmer? He will just hit us with a stick and we are gone forever said the turtle. Yes, that's true. Now what do we do? Let us wait till night. And as the stars shine in the sky, we will come here and have a feast, said the turtle. So both of them waited the same place till the sunset. And the little stars started tuck, 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 tuck appearing in the sky. It was a twinkle, twinkle, little starry sky. Beautiful sky filled with moonlight. It was a full moon night. So they had ample light also on the field. And then they decided to have the ginger for their dinner. And as they started moving, they said like, once anybody spices, I want you to stay still. Not to move, otherwise we are gone, said the turtle. 
Of course, I know that man. Come, let's go, said the lizard. And within seconds, he disappeared. And the turtle followed him. Thud, thud, thud. Thud, thud, thud. Dum, thud, thud, thud. See, both of them entered into the farm. And the lizard could not wait for any more. He immediately went up. He had the ginger. Once he tasted the ginger, he was lost in a trance. Ah, how delicious, yummy, yummy, yummy. The ginger of Godgatapa is very tasty. The ginger of Godgatapa is very tasty. Hey, yo, cheerio. The ginger of Godgatapa is very tasty. He started singing loudly. Forgetting that the farmer would come and catch them. Oh no, what is he doing? He has become crazy. What do I do now? Thought the turtle. And he ran said, please stay still. Please stay still. Don't move. Don't move. But still the lizard was listening to him at all. He was simply singing again. He was humming and having. And those words raged. The farmer's ears, he was sleeping in his hut. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la. What is this? I could hear something. What is this? The senior of a god to cover tasty. Huh? Thieves? Thieves on my farm? Somebody has come now. Oh my god. Where is Mystique? Where is the lantern? He started searching all around. He immediately took his lantern. He immediately took his stick. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening? Who are the thieves on my farm? They are going to eat my ginger now. I am not going to leave them today. He said to himself. And that moment, the farmer got up and he immediately opened the doors and came outside. He looked all around and walked towards the voice. The moment they saw the farmer coming after them, they ran away. The lizard rode very fast as usual and so zoop, he ran away. But the turtle, third, 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 he walked. The farmer saw the lizard swish moment. And he chased it. He ran and ran and ran after it. But he could not find it. The turtle then decided he cannot run any more fast. So he thought of a plan. He immediately went and hid himself under a coconut shell. Where the farmer usually used to sit all day long. He did not know that the farmer would be sitting of course. After a tired run the farmer came. And he sat upon the coconut shell. Oh, where this creature has gone? I don't know where who has been eating my ginger. He was struggling to think about it. Suddenly, the turtle which was sitting under the shell made a noise. Where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? The farmer looked all around. He ran around the farm once again. Again came and sat on the shell. And again she ate the turtle made a sound. The farmer got up. And again all the way he went around. He could not find anybody there. He was so tired, so tired and he thud, fainted. Then the turtle slowly came out and crawled, 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 crawled and left the place. And the lizard and the turtle felt very happy. Thank God, we have saved ourselves. And both of them started walking. It was late night. And suddenly, they could smell something very sweet. Hey, can you smell it too? Asked the lizard. Yes, of course. I think it's the honey on the tree. Honey on the tree? 
I would go and get it," said the lizard. But please be careful. There would be bees there all the time. No, no, I can manage. It's anyway dark. I'll go happily taste it and bring it something for you too," said the lizard. And he immediately crawled over the tree, licked the honey. It was very tasty for him. And then again, he went into a trance and started singing loudly. The honey is so sweet. The honey is so sweet. Hey yo, cheery yo! The honey is so sweet. He began to sing loudly. All the honeybees that were sleeping, they opened their eyes and immediately caught hold of the lizard and started stinging him. Oh 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 oh! The lizard was in complete pain. He screamed, he screamed, and cried for help. But unfortunately, the turtle could not climb up the tree, right? And the turtle started moving, turt, 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 and finally, the lizard could escape somehow that place. His body was full in pain; it turned totally red. He was unable to move. Also, he crawled, crawled slowly, dragged himself on the floor, and finally. reached the turtle that was hiding behind a tree in order to escape from the honey bees and both of them rested that night under a tree among the small small bushes because the lizard was very much hurt and the turtle said i want you not to go there and you said that you would do it quietly and you happily had the honey neither did you bring it for me But you got all pain on your body. What is this? Asked the turtle. Hmm. I'm already repenting. Don't make me feel guilty any more," said the lizard. And the sun arose. It was morning time, and they happily walked to some distance, and went to a riverside. Bathed in that river nicely, cleaned off all the dirt from their bodies. and the lizard had cool swim in the water ha ah, i'm feeling happy now is very happy is very nice he started swimming in the river for some time and then again they set on their journey to some other place but now this time what happened you know they came across a big bird snare The moment the lizard looked at the bird snare, it was looking like this. Ah, oh, what it could be, what it could be. The turtle also looked, and the turtle said, "That was the silver wire which my grandfather used to wear around his neck when I was a child, and that used to be so beautiful upon him." Said the turtle. Is it? Do you think that would be beautiful? Oh no! I want to get it now," said the lizard. "You already had enough yesterday, whole day, and you want to have some more right now," said the lizard. "Said the turtle. No, this time there is nothing. I don't see anything harmful around. I'll just go in a minute and get the wire from there, and I will get it for you. In fact," said the lizard. Oh, uh, what do I do with this lizard now? It's not going to listen to me," thought the turtle. But before he was about to say something, the lizard ran away to the snare. He went, and he caught hold of a wire, and immediately began to sing a song as usual. The wire is so beautiful. The wire is so beautiful. Hey yo, cherry yo, the wire is so beautiful. La 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 la. I got a beautiful wire. Hey ho, cherry yo, I got a beautiful wire. The moment he sang, the person, the bird catcher, heard, and was after it. But unfortunately, this time, the lizard could not escape because it was. trapped in the bird snare it was caught and 
the hunter that was a bird catcher came and he hit it down and it died the poor lizard died because of his foolishness because of being in haste because of not listening to the turtle and the turtle with a sorrow long face sat down looking at his friend and he wept and cried for his foolishness and for being so silly and for not listening to his words always at least once and he slowly walked away from that place and that is the story of the lizard and the turtle did you all like it yes thank you for giving this opportunity bye bye